this week is my week two update post-op VSG. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and get this posted um, before I start my week three, which officially begins tomorrow, and I think tomorrow is the 22nd. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and get this posted, get you guys updated on how my week went, tell you how I felt, and a couple of the products that I really, really enjoyed using this week. Um, first, we can talk about how I felt. Um, this week was difficult. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. It was a little bit difficult. Um, I guess because my stomach was um, not as sensitive to the pouch anymore, um, not as sensitive to the sleeve, I felt more hungry. I felt a little bit grouchy because I was hungry and I couldn't eat anything. Um, I felt a little bit tired before my uh, patch vitamins got here. I did go ahead and order some patch vitamins, which I will show you guys. Um, I was a little bit sad. I've heard a lot of people tell their viewers that they are um, regretful about their decision to have the sleeve. Um, and I can see where that would happen. I can see where you would regret having it. Um, personally, I didn't feel any regret. I just felt sadness. Uh, while my family was going out to dinner and my husband was eating dinner, I was having protein shakes or jello or, you know, whatever I could have that day or whatever I felt like eating. Um, and so that made me a little bit sad. You know, people have an emotional attachment to food. They ha It's a comfort for them. I know at least for me, that's how I was. I, food was a comfort to me. And because I didn't have that anymore, it just made me very sad. But I know that in the end, my end result will completely trump this entire experience. I'm going to feel 100% better about myself after I um, have lost the weight that I need to lose. So, I'm going to show you guys what I had this week, what I ate, what got me through the week, what products I use. First, Powerade Zero. Powerade Zero is my go-to drink. It tastes great. It does not have that weird sugar-free taste to it. I'm sure everybody has had this. This is a very, very common drink. Um, this is the mixed berry flavor. You know, it's a, it's a sports drink. It's got a lot of, let's see, it's got potassium, it's got magnesium. A couple vitamins including the B vitamins which as a weight loss surgery patient you do need extra B vitamins so this was my go-to drink I am very happy that I found Powerade Zero another thing that got me through the week are these Greek 100 Yoplait whips um I'm gonna start by saying this they are high in sugar for a weight loss surgery patient they have let's see this one has 12 grams of sugar. That's a lot. I was told by my doctor to stay under 20 grams of sugar per day. Um, so this has, you know, more than half of the sugar that you're supposed to have. However, I could only finish around a tablespoon of this and that is just barely skimming off the top. If I had to guess, maybe three grams of sugar. Um, it filled me up for a few hours in the morning given the you know there's a hundred calories you're probably only getting 20 of them with the tablespoon but these are greek yogurt they have a lot of protein that's what we want nine grams of protein in this so i don't know if this is showing up on my camera very well but those are the that's the nutritional facts third thing is something that I have at least one of, if not one and a half a day. Um, I'm sure you all have heard of it. I I don't know where I was. I guess, you know, I was just not in a loop. Premier Protein. Um, 30 entire grams of protein, uh, one gram of sugar, uh, four grams of carbs, but one of those is from Dietary Fiber, and um, they are delicious, in my opinion. Okay, if you had two of these, a day you'd be getting 60 grams of protein and that is all you need per my doctor a day for a weight loss surgery patient so these really were great to have this week um you know it took me i would say i drank probably this much of the shake so a fourth of the shake and it took me about 15 minutes to drink that um i would wait about 30 minutes 
and then I drank another fourth of the shake. So half of the shake and it took an hour. At that point, I wasn't really hungry anymore. I was a little bit full. So I would put the shake away and then at lunchtime, I'd drink another one. Um, and then at dinner time, you know, I'd either have some of that yogurt, I'd have another half of the shake. Once in a while, I had creamy, um, cream-based soups. Uh, I had roasted red pepper soup, which you can get from Campbell's. Um, it's in a bag. It's called, like, to-go soups or something like that. And it was really good. I strained everything out of it. Um, but I noticed that because of the acidity and the tomatoes, it really gave me a little bit of a stomach ache. So I tried to avoid having those. Um, my vitamins. This is the Patch MD Multivitamin Plus Topical Patch. It is a 30-day supply. They come in sheets. I don't know. You can see them. Okay. They come in sheets of six. You put one on a day after you take your shower in the morning or if you don't take a shower in the morning, just put it on when you wake up. I have one on right now on my arm and my doctor recommended them and I was a little skeptical at first. They wanted me to take these um, chewable vitamins that they sold at the actual doctor's office that I go to. And I did take them, I know I told you guys last week, I took them, I chewed them up, and I vomited them out. Um, and I tried them again, and it made my stomach very, very uneasy for at least 30 minutes. And I can't, I, I'm in school, I can't do that all day long, every single day, I can't actually take a vitamin that's gonna make me sick. So these patches work. On, on Wednesday, I have an appointment with my doctor. They're going to check my vitamin levels. They're gonna check my weight. And, oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you guys about my weight yet. Um, so for those of you that don't know, um, my highest weight, my starting weight was 381 pounds. I did a, I did a three month pre-op diet and lost 50 pounds. High protein, low carb, ketogenic, whatever you wanna call it. I did that for three months before my surgery. My surgery was on August 8th. The morning of surgery, I weighed 331 pounds. Last week, I weighed 311 pounds. And this week, I weighed myself this morning and I weighed 306 pounds. So that was five pounds in a week. That's about as much as they tell you that you're going to lose. And I am happy with that. Um, one thing I do wanna say, week three, they, I've heard a lot from a lot of my friends that have had the surgery and the support groups that I'm on and Instagram, um, that on week three you stall. Your weight will stall. I'm a little worried about that because I know that mentally that's not going to be very good for me. I'm going to feel really upset that it has stalled and I've gone through all of this with this surgery. I know that a lot of different practices have different ways of giving you your meal plans. I've heard people say that they were on the liquid diet for two entire weeks before surgery. I was on the liquid diet for only two days before surgery, but I did exactly what my doctor said. Week one, I was allowed to have clear liquids. I think that's pretty standard. Week two, which was this week, um, I was allowed to have creamy soups, popsicles, yogurt, pudding, and the protein shakes. Week three, which I start tomorrow, I'm able to have soft foods. Week four, integrating a little bit more vegetables into my soft foods. And week five, you are able to eat healthy meals of your choice. They do tell you to stay away from carbs and sugar, of course. I've heard a lot of people say that they were on a soft diet for three weeks, that they were on a pureed diet for two weeks, that they were on a liquid diet for three weeks, you know, whatever that may be. I'm following exactly what my doctor told me to do, so if you had something different, you can let me know. Um, but, you know, this is exactly what my doctor said to do. Week two, you are eating the creamy soups and liquid that just goes straight through you. And week three, you're adding more substantial food. As far as my stomach goes and the incision and everything, I do feel a little bit sore still. The hole where they pull your stomach out, um, I don't know if it's bigger than the other holes. I don't know 
why it hurts so much more but it does and it's beginning to form a small lump underneath the skin um, that I'm assuming is scar tissue but I am going to call my doctor's office tomorrow and tell them about it they'll probably just tell me to wait until Wednesday when I have my appointment uh, which is fine um, it does hurt but only when I'm up moving around so I think that's it for week two um, I will post another video at the end of week three which starts tomorrow and I'll let you guys know what I ate I may show some recipe videos this week so subscribe and see what um, what all I make if you want to follow me on Instagram my Instagram is short sleeved tea that will be in the description box below and um, I hope you guys have a really great week. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to get back to every single one of them. Um, I'm really looking forward to meeting you guys and talking to everyone. I hope this video was helpful for you. It may have answered any of your questions. Um, so just leave me a comment if you have any more questions and I will see you again next week. Bye.